All right, uh, good afternoon and welcome to the uh, Summer Bash at Arvig. I hope you enjoy the food and we enjoy the day. I'm Mark Burkholz, uh, Director of Southern Markets with Arvig. Uh, Arvig is a uh, community-minded regional service provider. We have uh, internet services, uh, phone, television, security, and a host of other related uh, communication services. We serve over 73 communities in Minnesota. We have a fiber ring that uh, runs through the seven county metro, St. Cloud, and Rochester. We have fiber backbone through much of the state of Minnesota. But today we're here to talk about one community and one city with one service that we can deliver becoming uh, number one in Minnesota. Today we'll be announcing, but not quite yet. The, uh, this all started with the uh, vision of the board of directors for Melrose Telephone and it's blossomed to the current management and staff. Our goal was to deliver a fiber-based internet service product that had some capabilities that were nationwide leading. Fiber. Fiber equals opportunity and broadband equals opportunity. No one disagrees with those statements. With this fiber and the supporting network, ArcRig can deliver an ultra-fast high-speed internet connection. What we announced today, becoming the first community in Minnesota, will have a tremendously positive impact on this area for the months and the decades to come. With the infrastructure Arvig has in place, along with a willing and progressive partner, the city of Melrose, Arvig presents Melrose as the first gigabyte community in Minnesota. That's the first gigabyte community in the state of Minnesota. Gig Central, as this will be called, will deliver an internet pipe to the side of your house capable of carrying speeds up to one gigabyte. Arvig is extremely excited to deliver this astounding service in Melrose. To speak more about Minnesota's first gig city, it's my pleasure to introduce CEO and VP David Arvig. Hi, I'm like uh, Mark said, I'm Dave Arvig, our um, Chief Operating Officer and um, Vice President. So I got a few talking points here. Um, first of all, I just want to say thanks for everybody that was involved in this project. It was um, Mark actually came up with a brainstorm and then he convinced everybody else to do that. So. Um, and the guys that worked on it, you can see them up here, these three guys. I don't know, you guys got to come out here a little bit. We've got Mike Bouchard, Scott Taylor, and Ross Weekman. Ross happens to be the only guy that actually has the gig at his house, so he says it just screams. So I hope um, everybody's enjoying the food, so just thanks for coming also. So, and uh, let's see. We, um, I'm supposed to give you a little example or tell you how this actually works, and you really should need to talk to these guys to actually figure out how it works. But... Um, in order to get one gig in the city, we also we have to have to everybody's house. We have to have a bigger pipe coming into the house, so or into the community. So I think we, what we have is a 10 gig coming in to the community, and then then everybody in the community then will will share that 10 gig. But at your house, you'd have a, a port on that the fiber com fiber comes in. There's like a little electronic device that will give you a one gig connection, takes it from that fiber to an Ethernet connection or a wireless connection in your house. So it's that's about as technical as I can get about it. So. Um, and then actually how we're going to um, work, um, Mayor Tim Vogel is going to actually um, show you exactly what we have to do. See, everybody says, why can't you hook me up? You can just, just a flip a switch. So um, actually the mayor is going to flip the switch for you guys. <laughs> so here you go. Do I say something first? Well, welcome to Riverfest. Uh, what a fantastic uh, weather that we've been having here. And... and is there anybody that enjoyed the pig races last night? Yeah. Hey, there they are. You know, when people talk about the name Arvig and Melrose, uh, it's synonymous with, with communication and telephone. And we are so lucky to have uh, their, their company here in our hometown. And the federal government, from what I understand, uh, wants at least one gigabyte city in every state by the year of 2015. And Melrose, our community, with partnership with Arvig, 
is going to be the first gigabyte city in the state of Minnesota. What a wonderful and exciting thing that is. And the opportunities that, that businesses and, and individuals and entrepreneurs will have to be able to use that service and uh, you know what an exciting thing and and you know on behalf of the city of Mel Melrose I would just like to congr congratulate Arvig and their their business model and uh, their efforts to keep pushing everything towards the future and I think that's just a marvelous thing to have to have a business and a and a partnership uh, with with this company so be that as may I guess we're, we're gonna go turn, turn, we're gonna turn up uh, Pump up the jam, as the, as the younger kids would say. Is everybody ready? Yeah. We're going to increase the speed here. We're going to put Melrose, Minnesota on the map in the state of Minnesota. There you go. 75. 100. Did it go? Yeah. Again, congratulations to the Arvig family and, and uh, their business model. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. I won't keep you too much longer, just a few more things about this. And as we energize the network to deliver gigabit speeds, I realize that not everyone needs a gig currently. But this is also about what speed do you need? You know, we have 5, 7, 10, 100 meg. What is it that you need? Why Gig Central? It's not only because Melrose is centrally located, it's because the internet is becoming central to every part of your life. Every aspect of your life seems to run through the net. Think about uh, the yesterday, yesterday's household when one TV was enough. And it started that way with internet too. You had one connection to a PC, desktop PC. Now today, look around your house and see all the devices that are sharing that internet connection. You've got iPods, you've got iPads, people have smartphones connected to them. You might have a smart TV. There's laptops that come into the house. There's also over-the-top items like Roku boxes and uh, Apple TV. So it's easy to see the future for bandwidth is in a growth pattern. We're in the 10 percenters. There's 10 percent of the people in the United States that have a fiber run to the side of their house. Why wouldn't Melrose tout this, tout this, tout this ability? Now, Melrose is located an hour and a half up a major interstate from an international airport. Now you've got internet speeds that will reach a gigabit. What kind of super highway is that? The entrepreneur who needs the speed to develop the next killer app, I invite to come to Melrose. The innovator who can develop the next generation apps and services come to Melrose. The business that wants every employee to enjoy the speed that Melrose can provide come to Melrose. In closing, I want to point out in January, FCC Chairman Jenikowski put a challenge out to every state to have a gigabyte community by 2015. And uh, Arvig accepts and meets that challenge from Jenikowski. I'd just like to say Mr. Janikowski put a check mark by Minnesota. Thank you. Yeah.